in this video guys I'm going to show you how to do a boot Mac OS Ventura and Windows 11 in the same drive as you knew in the last video I show you how you can triple boot Mac OS Monterey Windows 10 and Ubuntu but in today's video I'm going to use Mac OS Ventura and Windows 11 on the same disk so if you are new to this channel say keep here and welcome to the channel feel free to share subscribe to the channel hit that like button subscribe subscribe so let's jump right in as you know we need some few things so that we can make our bootable USB drive I'll put all the link in the description below so you don't have to worry about that first of all you need two flash drive 16 gigs and above but for Windows you even if you have 8 gigs you can do the trick so let me show you as you can see I have two flash drive 32 GB and 64 so this will be perfect for our tutorial for today also you need to have mini tool partition also I'll show you how we can use that also we need Explorer plus plus and we need Balena HR to create our bootable Ventura so I'll start with creating of Ventura so I'll just fire up Balena HR also I'll just create Windows 11 with Windows I'll just create Windows 11 sorry and Ventura image simultaneously so let me just open Rufus so this is our Our application or all, op all, all are open so uh, let's just create our Ventura first select our file and then this is uh, my Ventura open and then select the drive I'm gonna use the 64 gigs and then hit on flash click on yes so that's it guys the installation process has just begun as you can see it's flashing so on the next thing we need to create a bootable Windows 11 so if you s but I I think anyone or everybody is familiar with this process of creating Windows 11 bootable or any Windows so it's just straightforward guys just select our drive and then I will select my Windows 11 and then here I'll just leave it to GPT and then I'll just leave it to standard Windows installation and then I'll click, click start so here I'll just leave it everything like that one so start okay so guys as you can see our Windows 11 and Mac OS Ventura bootable USB drive are being created simultaneously and I'll pause this video and come back when everything is done here yeah, so I'll just do that alright guys so as you can see here our Windows 11 has finished and also our uh, Mac OS Ventura bootable USB has done with the flashing so the next phase is we need to let me just close this one this one so the next phase we need to open our mini tool partition so that we can copy our EFI the compatible EFI I've already made my EFI right here so we are gonna copy this one to the bootable flash drive for Ventura 
so that we can continue with a smooth installation so just open partition recovery also simultaneously you can open you can run explorer plus plus as an admin you need you'll need explorer plus plus so that's something you i'll put a link in the description below so let's find our so this is our ventura so right click on the efi partition and then change letter leave the default and then apply okay so i'll minimize this mini tool and then i'm gonna copy my efi and then on our explorer plus plus we need to go to the pc and locate the efi so you need to delete all this and then paste our efi here so let's wait for it to cope to finish with the installation process so and we're almost done so let's just be patient okay guys so it has done with the coping of our efi so what we need to do now is close this one and then come to the efi and then change the name change the letter to none like that apply and so guys our all our usb are ready windows 11 installation usb bootable is ready and our mac os ventura also is ready so i'm gonna change to my phone so we can continue with the installation the first we're going to install is the mac os ventura or we can just do windows any any anyway so this is our uh, one tera ssd that we are going to install the to do boot the two oss so i'll see you on my camera guys so let me just stop this one right guys so let's install the mac os ventura first so hit the F12 on your keyboard or whatever keys that you're used to open the boot menu as you can see mine so this is the only flash drive that I have so just hit enter and as you can see here guys so this is my my boot menu we have install mac os mont ventura sorry reset ram tago sip enable so let's hit enter on that and let's wait for it so there we go we have the bar right there so that's a good sign So we'll have to wait for it to finish. So let's just be patient guys. Okay, so as you can see right there, let me show you. We have the mouse cursor right here. So this is a good sign guys that 
we are going to okay there we go so the drill is just the same for us let's sit on continue and here the drill is just the same just hit on disk utility continue and let me show all devices and this is my ssd so let me just partition this one so click on partition let's create a new partition for windows Okay, so I will call this one Windows. And the next thing we need to choose XWAT. So it's alpha 512, 512, and then apply. You're gonna choose, let me focus here. Okay, partition. So it will partition for us our hard drive or SSD depends on what you are using. For me it's SSD so and boom it's done. So let me again format this. Sorry let me erase this one and I'll call it vent. A uh, short name for Ventura erase. Okay, so that's done. Sorry, let's just call it Vent. My bad. right folks so we have our ventura partition and our windows so just clo close disk utility and then come here and then install macOS ventura click on continue Okay, agree, agree, and then let's select our Ventura partition and then continue. So guys, here is going to take about 30 minutes for this one to finish this. So I'm going to pause this video and come back when it's done. Okay folks, so that's just restarted. So let's continue with the next phase. Just choose Mac OS installer. And in this phase where we're gonna go up to 29 minutes again. So the wait will continue. So there we go, 29 minutes remaining in one, two, there we go. So guys, I'll pause the video, then come back again. Okay guys, so it has just restarted and uh, this time we're gonna boot to the ventura as you can see right here this is the vent disc right there so we are almost there let's wait for it <clears throat> it's 
so it has just restarted for the last time again let's choose our uh, disk and on this face guys we are gonna set up our Ventura so let's wait for it and the EFI for this installation I'll leave a link in the description for this same EFI also if you need the pre-made EFI also I'll leave a link in the description below so okay guys so here we go what you need to do let's find our country there we go I'm gonna leave it as default for now continue not now I don't have an internet right now continue okay continue not now agree agree so I'm gonna call this one vent one put your password and then this one and then save continue so it's creating our account guys so let's be patient and then after this installation the next installation I'm gonna do is Windows 11 right after this one finishes So let's wait for this one and guys as this one creates the account if you you have any issue with your Arkintosh you can post your issue or on the forum I'll provide a link in the description below so let's continue reset continue me and check this one continue set up later continue right guys so we have successfully installed our macOS Ventura and as you can see this is our boot screen so there we go this is our macOS Ventura and if you go to about this mark you can see here this is a mark mini 2018 intel hd 530 2048 so that's it guys so what you need to do we need to copy our efi from so let me just drag this one on the desktop so we will need them okay folks so we are done with the Ventura so the next thing we're gonna do is gonna install Windows 11 so let me just plug this one in and then I can restart the machine and we can continue from there okay
and ladies and gentlemen there we go that is our windows 11 boom right folks so we are on our window 11 we need to download this app called disk genius so we can map our uh, open core to be the first one to boot so let's do that so they are come to tools and then set ufi boot entry and then let's delete all this and then add our EFI so select the uh, select the boot x64 and then down here click open then let's name it open call save okay and then what you need to do is just restart so let's restart and see our okay so there we go guys as you can see we can now boot straight directly to our let me just let me just power it off and then power it on again so we can see our boot menu let's wait for it Okay guys, so there we go, we have our windows and we have our Ventura, so let's start with Ventura. Boom. success guys success so again let's go to let's restart this and then go to windows 11 first let me show you that this is just a single disk and nothing else as you can see here this is just a single ssd and nothing more we have our ventura and then we have our windows 11. so guys let's restart to windows 11 and see Okay, so 
So let's choose our Windows 11. And there we go, guys. We have successfully dual boot Mac OS Ventura and Windows 11 on the same drive. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel, share, like, and I'll see you in many, many more tutorials to come. So, thumbs up, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. If you are not subscribed and you are bumped to this channel, please just subscribe to the channel. And I'll leave a link to this EFI in the description below so you can download it and use it at your own goodwill. So that's it, guys. Peace.